Hello people this is self turds and we are continuing our series on docker for beginners and in this video we'll understand how we can download docker images in the last video we have seen the details of docker images like what things does a docker image contain in this video we'll be learning that how we can download docker images so docker images are stored in docker registry so the docker images can be published or it can be hosted in docker registry if i give a similar example so let's say if you are node js developer so you need some npm modules and where that npm modules are hosted they are hosted on npm registry if you are a java developer then let's say you need some jar files using maven so those jar files are hosted in the maven registry same way the docker images are hosted on docker registry and other people can push their docker image or download docker images from docker registry so the docker registry can be of two types one is like remote docker registry where an example can be said as the docker hub which is the official remote docker registry which is being hosted by the docker people there can be n number of registries docker registries which people can host and other people can use and you can have a local docker registry also which you can host on your in premises let's say on your physical machine in your laptop or in your desktop anywhere and you can use it for your projects so what we do we use the command docker pull to basically download the image so as we have learned in the previous video that a docker image is identified using a image name and then a version or you can say a tag so you can download that particular docker image using the docker pull command and the image name if you have not specified any tag which means that we'll be downloading the latest tag so this is docker hub and people can host their images so let's say mysql company is there and they have hosted the mysql image on docker hub there can be redis people who can host the redis image on the docker hub there can be any other company or you who can host your images on this docker hub you are a developer and you have your own local machine and then docker is installed on your local machine so what you will do you will use the docker pull command to basically download any of the images from the docker hub to your local machine so if you use the command docker pull and then mysql so what will happen the mysql latest image will be downloaded here let's go to docker hub registry and see that how we can download images from there to our local machine i have opened my chrome and here i'll use docker hub and i'll search it so the first link is only hub.docker.com i'll go there and you can see here this is the landing page we want to just explore without doing any sign up so i'll just click on explore and you can see you will get a different filter criteria is here based on that you will get your official images so you can see we have alpine image we have busy box we have nginx ubuntu so any image whatever you have thought of mostly it will be present here there can be official image also and other people or other developer also publishes these images uh, based on their requirement and they can use it so what i will be using is the hello world image so let's go to hello world so whenever we start a project so it's basically the hello world so this is one of the docker official images just for tinkering so let's see the details here and you can see hello world so hello world is an example of minimal dockerization and you can see these are the different tags so linux nano server and these are the different details like whenever you run this command what will happen what is the output that you will be getting so what does this image do is like it just creates the container and it basically outputs something on your terminal so let's see our local docker thing and see if there is any image present here or not so it is docker images and you can see here i got a empty response which means that there is no image currently present here now what i am going to do is i am going to download this image so this is the name of the image is hello world and since i will not be using any tag so what will happen it will download the latest image let's copy it by clicking this command let's come here paste it and do enter so what you are seeing here is using the default tag as i have said since we are not using any tag so what it is doing it is using the default tag then it is saying pulling from library hello world pull complete so this pulling is what it is going to the docker hub and then trying 
and then downloading that image now if i do docker images so you can see here i have this image hello world the tag is latest we always identify our image with a unique hash id that is called as image id it was created 18 months ago and the size is this so this is how we download an image let's download another image i'll go back and then what i'm going to do is let's see download a mysql image so i'll come here mysql this is the official mysql image i'll just copy it and i'll come here i'll paste it and i'll do enter so again it is using the default tag as latest which means that we'll get the latest version of the mysql image and now since this image has a big size so it is trying to it is taking time to download it here so it is going and downloading the different layers of the image we'll understand later the layers part later on but here you can see that it is downloading different things from the docker hub and finally when the image is available so i can say docker images and you can see now i have mysql also along with the hello world so this is the way we download the image so this mysql image is what it contains some operating system and then it contains the mysql uh, thing like the mysql software also and it contains some of the dependent libraries also so let's come here and if if we find here we have something called as docker file which we will we'll be understanding later if i click on any one of this then what you will get you will get some data here and you can see from oracle linux 8 slim which means what the operating system being used is the oracle linux so we have seen in the docker images video that the topmost layer is what is the operating system layer and here we are using the oracle linux so these are the different commands which we used while creating the docker image and we will also learn that how to create our own docker image in the later videos so hope you understand this whole concept of remote docker registry local docker registry how we download the docker images from the remote to our local so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to these to my channel and please share these videos with other people thank you